Welcome. I'm going to show you how to translate Khan Academy on Crowdin and get started real quick. So this is the first page, the landing page of Crowdin. If you arrive here, you want to go to the very bottom and see down here on the left where it says Explore. You want to click Explore. Now you're going to search for the project. We're going to search for Khan Academy. The one you want is the one that has the Khan Academy logo and is created by C. Silvers. It also has a lot of users. So we're going to go in there. Here's the page where you see all the different languages that you can translate into. I'm translating into Swedish, so that's what I'm going to click. I'm going to click the Swedish. That's going to bring me into the uh, search bar where I can search all the different files that I can translate into. On the right here, you can see the progress. So the green is how much has been proofread. The blue is how much we've actually translated. And you see we've done about 29% of the high priority platform. So we still have a ways to go. Under high priority content, I'm going to show you some translations here. As I scroll down, you'll see uh, that we've done some. Most we haven't started with yet. Right now, I'm looking for early math. So it says learn math and then CC. So I'm looking for learn math early math exercises. So this is the big one. The other, Most of the other files are really small, but the exercise files are the one with the big files. So we've done 74% of this, and I'm going to go in here, translate some of this. So this is the view where you translate. This is the actual translation interface. On the left here, you see strings. There are 50 on each page. And you see there are 28 pages left that need to be translated. Up here, uh, text for translation is what we call the source string. So this is the original string in English. Here is where I'm going to type in my Swedish translation. And at the bottom here, you have suggestions from other translations you've done in Crowdin. Sometimes it will show you, well, it will show you me at the bottom here, where I thought it would, show me the translation from Microsoft's translator. So I'm going to translate. I could type Hannah Hall dollar forty two dollar dollar, which would be the Swedish uh, translation. However, uh, sometimes when there's a lot of text that matches or a lot of numbers that you don't want to translate, you can press this copy button, which will then copy source, as it says which is actually will just copy the stuff above. So I've copied it. It's obviously wrong now, but I actually don't have to change that much to make it Swedish. I just have to change the S to an R and remove the S, and I'm done. So now it's time to save this string. I press Save, and you'll see over here, magically, the string is turned green, and I've now translated that. Now somebody still needs to proofread it, and then it's all done. But that doesn't have to happen right away. So let's do the next one. Mandy as well. So she's got $73. Well, let's do the same thing. I copy that, change the R, change the S, Oops. and I'm done. Then you can scroll through the different pages with these buttons to look at the next page, choose whichever ones you want to search for. If you want to just search for special things, like for instance, add, these are now all the strings that contain adding in some way. Now it's just a string. So here, add two digit numbers by making tens. And if you want to know where the string that you're translating belongs, you can press this context button here. It will then show you where the exercise is and give you some help on translating this. But this is not something you want to translate. Very quickly, I'll tell you a little bit about the stuff that you don't translate. Let's look at this, for instance. Next, we can add the dollar, purple, stickers, 14 stickers, uh, green, purple, pink, items. So that's a lot of weird text. Actually, here, there are some pieces that we don't want to translate. The purple here, for instance, that just tells us that the number 14 over here, whoops, the number 14 over here is supposed to be colored for, uh, purple. Sorry. Here, you can probably guess what the thir what color the 38 is going to be. It's going to be green. The 14 is going to be purple, and the 52 is going to be pink. So these are just formats. You don't translate these. The only thing I would translate in this string would be this, 
next we can add the then I would translate stickers I would also translate items okay so those are the only things take another example here two jars hold 20 ladybugs and so on ladybugs I want to translate and the jars hold this however is a link to a picture this whole bit right here is a link to a picture we don't translate that there are some other parts that don't translate but you can find those out along the way it's pretty simple if you look at if you're uncertain you can also scroll down here and look at the other languages and see what the rest of the world has used to translate and then if you see that whoa nobody translated that part of the string then you know actually if you just look at Portuguese or Spanish or Turkish uh, you'll see what needs to be translated or German for that matter alright so I wish you the best of luck translating and uh, have fun